Hey there! In today's episode, we will look into how to apply for the Coracle Prime package. Once we are on the Coracle website, this can be done by two ways. The first one is by clicking on our services, and there you can see all the products that Coracle has to offer, including the Prime packages. The second step is by scrolling down on the website and then you can see all the details that you avail when opting for Prime Package. So let's click on Apply. Now once you select on Apply, you'll be presented with two options that is Get Prime Uni and Get Prime Pre. So what are these exactly? Suppose you're a student enrolling in bachelor's or master's degree at a German university, then you select Get Prime Uni. Suppose you're a student enrolling as a student colleague or a language student, then you select Get Prime Pre. Now let's take a university student as an example. Then you click Confirm and as you confirm, you're redirected to this page. Now, as you scroll down, you get to see the benefits you get by opting for the Coracle Prime Uni package. So the Coracle Prime Uni package gets you the blocked account, health insurance and free travel insurance as a combo package all at the price of 59 euros. That is, you save 40 euros on your blocked account and 98 euros on your travel insurance and all these benefits are available to you with no monthly fee, which makes it the best price label in the market. Now let's proceed with the application process. The first step of the application process is to select your public health insurance provider. Coracle is the only provider that provides you with the choice of selecting a public health insurance provider. So based on your preference, you can select any one of the three public health insurance providers. In this example, let's consider TK. So once you have selected the public health insurance provider of your choice, you will then be redirected to a page where you will have to provide your personal details, information regarding your travel date and the amount you want to block in a blocked account and finally upload the required documents. First, let's start with your personal details. If you're a master's student, then you select the master's student option. And if you're a bachelor student, you select the bachelor student option. In this case, we'll consider a master student. Here, you should enter your date of birth, then your place of birth, and then select your country of birth. You can select nationality. Next, enter your first name and your surname or family name and make sure that these details are the same as the one in your passport. Enter the email address with which you want to have further communication with Coracle. Next, provide your phone number details and then enter the name of your university. Here you get to select a drop down of when you'll be starting studies in Germany. Next, select your course enrolled at your German university. Here comes the question where you have to answer whether you're a tax resident in the USA. If your answer is yes, currently we're not accepting any applications from the USA. However, if your answer is no, you don't have to worry about anything. The next question is, are you a politically exposed person? Once you select your options, you're done with your personal details. Now let's go towards the next part, which is entering the details of your travel date. The first step is the selection of your travel date, which can be tentative or if you've already decided when you are going to Germany. You can put the date and suppose you put an intended travel date and then want to change it, this can be done in the portal. So here, our travel insurance is completed. The next part of the application is entering the details required for the blocked account. First, you're going to enter the amount that you're going to block monthly. Second, you enter the number of months that you're going to block. So this can be done by selecting here and then selecting the required amount. Suppose the required amount that is requested by your German embassy in the country is not present here, then you have the option of selecting others and then entering the amount manually. So now, let's select 934 euros. The next task is to select how many months this amount should be blocked for. 
Well, we have selected the amount that has to be blocked monthly and the number of months this amount has to be blocked. You get the total amount that you have to transfer to get your blocked account confirmation. The next section of the application is the comments section where you can choose if you want to inform any details in the application section. This section of the application involves entering the details of your identification document, that is your passport. So first, enter your passport. Next, you select the passport expiry date. The next step is to upload the photo of your passport, which consists of all your details. Make sure that the details in the passport are concise and clear in the photo. Now we go towards the next section, which is the agreement section. You can read the terms and condition and click on the particular terms. Lastly, your signature shot and then click on apply. So when you click on apply, you get an option to review your application and then submit it. This is where you check whether the details are correct and the documents that you have uploaded are right. If there are any mistakes, you can click on edit application. If there are no mistakes, you can proceed and click on submit. So once you click on submit, you will get an OTP which you will have to provide. And with this, your application will be sent. Now once the application is sent, it will be reviewed. And once all the documents and the details are in place, your Prime package will be successfully opened. So this is the process for opening your Prime package. Thank you.